This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Monday, November 5th, 2012. After a full week without power here in the financial district of Manhattan, NYC, we are finally back in business after Sandy switched off the lights and caused some very serious damage. I have to admit that I was one of the people who never took Sandy seriously since her predecessor, Irene, kind of failed to show up a year ago, and I was not alone in thinking that way. With not many people taking Sandy seriously and with a full moon on the rise, Sandy turned out to be the perfect storm, one of the worst storms in U.S. history, in fact. State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli projects the economic damage from Hurricane Sandy could exceed $18 billion for New York State. Downtown Manhattan took a huge hit, but is not the only part of Manhattan that suffered. Upper East Side on 96th Street between 2nd and 1st was flooded by the East Side River and many buildings in that area were left without power and water for several days last week including mine. That first hot shower and seeing light come back on definitely felt like a piece of unknown paradise, I tell ya. Fuel shortages and power outages remain almost a week after Sandy left, and according to Mayor Bloomberg, 30,000 to 40,000 people in New York City alone would need shelter. The highly popular New York City Marathon was canceled. Instead, hundreds of runners participated in informal runs to deliver food and clothes to people in need. Fuel shortage left many frustrated drivers waiting for hours at gas stations, but what is much worse is that some people are still left without power and hot water while winter is slowly setting in. But guess who never went out of power, not even downtown? Goldman Sachs, the blood-sucking vampire squid, was shining bright and light while the rest of the financial district was left in the dark. Interesting. According to one of our insider sources, Credit Suisse was serviced to keep their generators running and keep business running as usual the day after the storm. The things money can buy. Anyways, if you want to help people in need here in NYC, do get some old clothes and blankets together and help out. Hopefully, we will be back to normal, all of us, soon. Wouldn't we all love to experience an unexpected lottery win right now? To Julie Cervera, her California lottery jackpot win of $23 million definitely came as a very unexpected surprise, as she had totally forgotten about the ticket and had to be flushed out by the lottery authorities via surveillance cameras to bring her the good news. She intends to share the money with her children, two of whom are adopted boys with special needs. It's good to know that the happy end and silver lining does still exist for some good people. Don't forget it's election day tomorrow. Vote and make yourselves be heard. The future lies in your hands. I'm Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com. Make sure to visit our website at CorporateProfile.com for more top headlines from around the world as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.